You may have heard about a chemical fire that happened at a facility that produces pool chemicals just 25 miles outside of Atlanta, Georgia. This fire resulted in 90,000 residents needing to evacuate. What caused it and how dangerous is it? We'll talk about it. Pool chemicals primarily work with chlorine, but when chlorine becomes a gas, it's really not good to inhale. In fact, chlorine gas has been used as a weapon. You'll notice that the fire has a little bit of an orangey tinge. This is because when chlorine gas enters the air, it is yellow. You'll also notice if you take a swim in a pool and you have blonde hair, it might come out a little bit green. The air quality was tested and they did find that there was a decent amount of chlorine in the air. Some residents were even hospitalized with burning of their lungs, skin, and eyes. Chlorine is not flammable all on its own, but it can have very strong reactions with other chemicals like sodium and even iron that can result in volatile reactions and chlorine can fuel that fire just as well as oxygen. The specific chemical is triclo. It is somewhat less volatile than chlorine all on its own, but it's still a oxidizing agent and when exposed to other chemicals, it can cause fires. In this case, the facility manager said that they had improper storage. They had allowed the chemical to sit in puddles on the ground and with a sprinkler malfunction, the mix ended up causing a reaction and a fire. Incidents involving pool chemicals have been up for a while as are all kinds of chemical accidents across the nation. Part of that is just lax attitudes about how dangerous chlorine actually can be. It's also because more people now own their own pools and are managing them, sometimes with disastrous consequences. Pool chemicals are not a joke. Unfortunately, once chlorine gas enters an area, it does tend to stick around for a little bit because it's heavier than the atmosphere. While some residents may have long-term consequences such as damage to their lungs and skin, in the end it's not actually that bad except for the few residents who were very close by or couldn't evacuate. It is, however, alarming that we're seeing more of these major chemical accidents. And it feels like nobody really wants to do anything other than, say, tots and pears.